And meanwhile, all around us, the lying to ourselves are continuing, like everybody's just ignoring the screaming of their soul. Right. Pretending that this is going to go on and on and on and on. People when are always going to need supermarkets. When no objective observer of history or of science or of any school of learning right. would come to that conclusion. It doesn't make any sense to assume that this right. would continue on. It isn't sustainable. Science would say it's not sustainable. Right. History would say, friends, we are way overdue for the collapse of this civilization. Economics, scholars yeah. would say the same. Friends, this is a, an economy headed for massive collapse, not little collapse. Currency devaluation, etc. Massive collapse. So instead of saying all those things, instead those people are getting more and more shut down. Yeah, covering ears. No, 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 no. Because it's getting scarier and scarier. Who does among us doesn't have this reaction? Me too, me too, me too. When the future looks bleak, it's easy to get turned around and think, oh boy, thank God that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'll be dead before that happens. Or just thank God it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Just entirely <coughs> in denial about it. Whereas that doesn't even make any sense. Let's straighten up. Face forward again. Wow, let's do that again. It's like when we straighten up and face forward, all of a sudden the debris is there because there's the collapse of civilization right in front of us. Right. Which leads to this mountain of debris. So let's just haul it away. <coughs> Handing it up to the higher souls. It's those same higher souls that I saw coming down over the road when the road collapsed. That's and the true. Yeah. They, we can hand it to them. We can hand them the rubble. It's like this is the rubble of the road. We're handing it up to them. Ah. And there, it's like a, a bucket brigade. Uh -huh. hand, passing it up, up, up. Like they're standing on each other's shoulders, so to speak, but they're laughing and looking so happy. They're happy to get rid of this road of lies. This is the road of hell that was paved with the pretense of good intentions. That's what we're passing up. The pretense of good intentions. Wow. I'm in for that. Me too. Let's me pass too. up the pretense of good intentions. It's the road of lies. Everybody wants to think of themselves as a good person. That's true. This is universal. And so this pretense of good intentions is a pretense to ourselves, you see? It's universal, right? Right. We want to th say, I had to do it. I had to... People on death row will say, I had to kill that person. Yeah. I had to... Whatever. I had to do it. No, you didn't. It was a choice. It was a choice. And so for all of us, when we do things we aren't proud of, we have an option of acknowledging that it was a mistake and doing our best to make it right. Right? Right. Or well, we have the other option of coming up with some rationalization about why what we did wasn't a mistake. Right. Right? That's what we're clearing, are these rationalizations and pretense. It's pretense to ourselves. When I try to say rationalization, they say, no, it's pretense to ourselves. We're lying to ourselves and to the world around us. I see somebody, he looks Roman, walking through. It's like as some of this rubble passes up. Yeah. I see like Roman pillars and somebody Roman. Like a centurion. Yeah, but he's looking for something or seems to be he's looking. He's looking under things. Yeah, he's looking under things. What is he looking for? He doesn't seem to be finding it or no. I don't see him finding it. It isn't here. But he also doesn't seem to be looking very intensely. I see him just turning over rocks with his feet. Yeah, it's just casually looking. Casually looking. But it looks like in like an abandoned ruins. Right. It looks like Pompeii. Right. He's, he's looking for good things from yeah. Rome. Good things. He's looking for good things from Rome. Well, 
It's that question. <laughs> the aqueduct. I was going to say, what have the Romans <laughs> ever done for us? <laughs> the aqueduct. Roads. Education. Public sanitation. Public sanitation. Mm. Mm. It doesn't look like he's no, finding much. He's not finding much. I get it. Even with all that, you know what was missing? Living the soul plan. That's true. Right? That's true. It isn't there. That's what he's looking for, is some kind of sign. Was it there back then? Because he has in his mind a fondness, a wistfulness about the Roman Empire. Yeah. Understandably so. Look, he's a centurion, right? Right. And he wants to see that it was there, right? Right. Well, mm. seems like he's coming up empty. Yeah, it does. It wasn't there. This isn't something that we had once. Right. We didn't lose right. this. This is the time of the awakening. Now is the time for this to happen. Now is the time. So, let's look to the future, not the past. Right? right. That's what he's showing us, right? Right. The answer isn't in the past, because it hasn't happened yet yeah. on this biosphere, right? That's true. This biosphere has always been channels out. Right? Right. This bias fear has never learned the art of not my will, just divine will, not anybody else's either, just divine will. True. That's what's supposed to happen now. Right? Right. So we have to look to the future. So now, whoosh, let's turn around and find those future beings. There's something that looks like a statue of a giant blue piggy bank or something bizarre like that. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it belongs. No, it's out of place. And it definitely doesn't seem to belong anywhere. No. Like it doesn't belong in the future, it doesn't belong in the past. So how did this thing even come to be? Right. It's an anomaly. It's an unhelpful anomaly because they want it out of here. It's not even full of, there's nothing in it. Hmm. Empty. There no deposits go. made. No deposits made. That's significant. What I'm kidding is uh, something about mm. doing things that don't make sense, that in rational mind don't make sense, but are what you're supposed to be doing. Right, it's this saying like, well, my soul is telling me to do this thing, but that doesn't even make any sense, so I'm not going to do that thing. Doing things that don't make any sense, that in your rational mind don't make any sense. And so we don't put any deposits into the piggy bank. Into the crazy big blue piggy bank it doesn't make any sense to us which doesn't mean we're not supposed to do it it's that step to putting things into the piggy bank right just make deposits just do just it. keep doing it just do it okay well what are we supposed to we're supposed to haul this piggy bank out of here yeah so. well let's just get it upstairs let's ask the higher souls if they'll take it like we can just hand it up we can go up right here where we are right mm -hmm. Now I see where it was. It's like a statue that got lifted off, and now I see where the statue stood. Yeah. That can't be right. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of that. I still don't really understand what that blue piggy bank was. Mm. But it's better to have it gone. Maybe it was a chance that wasn't taken, and therefore it's no longer right. around. You know how people get hung up on doors that have closed right it's like, well we had that opportunity but it's gone we don't have it anymore so let go of the idea that that's still an option because it isn't oh that's how it feels it's like that was the last chance right yeah the blue piggy bank the miracle <laughs> nobody actually wants to hear this message no the message is ask not what source can do for you but ask what together we can do for the greater good and no one wants to hear it they say well I don't want to do it what if I just say no what happens if I just say no literally they literally use those words in yeah. sessions what happens if I just say no wow as a biosphere we have just said no yeah 
Well, now we're going to find out what happens, aren't we?